Today I'm going to show you how I built this ribbon microphone and it's got inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter by inch and a half uh, magnets, a 2.5 micron foil ribbon, a $25 step up transformer and a base that I uh, designed in SketchUp and then had 3D printed. Alright so I went into SketchUp I wanted to create my base and um, I didn't want to have to do it all by hand because the um, as you can see here I wanted a couple of notches to keep the magnets apart even though they're glued into place and I wanted the, the screw holes in a good position um, and so I went into SketchUp and I designed the part and after I'd gotten the part designed then I was able to email it to um, the UPS store which had a 3D printer and they were able to create the part. It cost me about $25 so I thought it was a really good value and uh, I'll try to put a link uh, to the part so you can just use my my drawing. Alright so here we see our part as it's come from the 3D printer. I have put a look, some silver, taken a silver marker and kind of marked the edges so that they're easier to see. So I think we're going to cut into here, put our transformer in there. Uh, we're going to build some uh, hold downs to hold down our ribbon. And we're going to tap out these uh, holes so that we can put our screws in. All right, so I've cut a piece of plexiglass. Still got the paper on it. Three quarters of an inch wide. And I'll just leave it long. And then uh, fits right in there. So I think I'll clamp it into place. And then I'll just drill through these holes using the drill press um, to make sure that all our holes are in the right place. Okay, so I've clamped the two pieces together just lightly like that. Now I'm just going to use these, these holes here as my guide. Now I'm going to cut, cut my pieces off. Now I just have to make my holes a little bit bigger so the screws will go through them. Alright, so there's my clamps. Uh, I drilled the hole out a little bit bigger. Should fit right onto there, holding the, the ribbon in place. And screws will go right through there. So next thing I want to do is I want to tap these holes out. That way I won't have to have a nut on the back. Okay, so here's my transformer. And um, I want to cut a slot for it right in here. So I just kind of marked it out and it's going to fit right inside this groove here. So I just need to cut that center piece out. Okay, so there I have my transformer kind of in my slot. I had to cut, I had to mess with the file a little bit to get it to all fit. But now it fits in there. It's not too snug, but I'll epoxy it in. All right, so now I have my magnets, and um, it's a little hard to work with, but you see they they fit. They should fit. Fit right in there. And I made a little divider to kind of keep them apart. But I'm going to take and I'm going to sand this side of the magnet and this side of this just to kind of rough it up to um, help the epoxy stick a little bit better. So I'm going to take it out and put a little piece of um, plexiglass between the magnets like that because I want the magnets attracting to each other and um, if they stick like that then they're good. So I'm just going to take a little piece of coarse sandpaper rough up the edges
Yeah, just look. I mean, they've got a little bit of scratches on them. Help them adhere a little bit better. Okay, so I have a spacer in between the two magnets. Got some epoxy that I mixed up. Just going to take the epoxy, get it in all the right places. And then my magnet should slip into place. And everything seems lined up. So here we see our magnets are in place. I've got the spacer in between them and I'll leave that in there, but um, they're all epoxied in. And you can see they're kind of lined up pretty nicely. So next we're going to take and um, epoxy in the transformer as well. Alright, so here we have our transformer glued in. See the back? I kind of kept it kind of flush with the back. So now our epoxy's hardened. We've got our, our magnets in place, we've got our transformer glued in, and so now what we want to do is I'm going to put a little piece of foil here and foil here that's going to act as the contact for our ribbon. So here's our copper foil. It's adhesive backed. I use it for doing stained glass work. So here we have our copper foil on, and it's got an adhesive back so it sticks, and we'll be able to solder to here and to here, and that's uh, how we'll get contact with our ribbon. So now we're ready to cut and crimp our foil. So here's our 2.5 micron foil. It's quite thin. Okay, so I'm going to use this strip of plywood that I know is 3 16 thick. And I'm going to use it as a guide to help me cut my strip. I'm going to use a sharp X-Acto knife. So there I've got my strip. It's still in the paper. So I put my crimper in a clamp so I didn't have to hold both the crimper and the foil at the same time. So there, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, so I've got my clamp here um, that I made earlier. I don't know if you can see that. But my screws are a little long, so I'm just going to put the clamp on, and then I'm going to try to get the foil underneath it. So there I've got the ribbon in on top and I just snug these two screws down and now I'm going to put the clamp down here and let that let that kind of dangle down and I'll try to get the tension right. I just 
hung a piece of tape onto the onto the ribbon to kind of tension it a little bit with gravity and now I'm going to tighten down my screws. All right, there it is. <clears throat> the ribbon's in. Doesn't look like it's touching the side. Uh, next job is to solder on the connectors. All right, here I have my microphone all set up. Got my trusty guitar. You can see that here I've uh, soldered on a uh, XLR uh, connector. And uh, let's try the microphone on. All right, so let's take it out for a test drive. Mm -hmm. 